The council members reacting to a plan from the mayor to allow housing vouchers to be used outside of the five boroughs. Fox Size Morgan Mackay explains how the program will work and who will be eligible. Starting as soon as next week, the city will be paying the rent for homeless New Yorkers to live outside the five boroughs. Mayor Eric Adams pointed to the migrant crisis and said with 10,000 migrants arriving every month, the city needs to make room in its shelters. And since many upstate communities are refusing to house migrants, the city is now going to be sending homeless New Yorkers to cities like Albany, Buffalo, Binghamton, and more. Governor Kathy Hochul expressed her support for the expansion of the City FEPS program. Anyone can move from New York City to any county they want any day of the week. There are no restrictions. According to the Department of Social Services, there are currently around 10,000 households with housing vouchers looking for permanent housing. One nonprofit that works with domestic abuse survivors said this expansion could help some families safely relocate. From survivors, uh, the perpetrators are still uh, free on the street. So, giving them that opportunity for them to use that rental assistance and get out of the city is is critical. But the city has done something like this before. It was called the Special One Time Assistance Program, which landlords outside of the city quickly exploited. Social Services says it has learned from that experience and will be requiring strict in person or virtual inspections of apartments. We will be, you know, monitoring the situation. Of course, it is of paramount importance to us. City Council Member Gail Brewer says it is disappointing, though, that New Yorkers can't afford to live here, pointing to the fact that many landlords in the city do not accept these housing vouchers. I think families want to stay here. They have ties, um, they know their neighborhoods, and we have to make it clear to them that we're going to really work with them on any discrimination issues and try to make things more uh, affordable. Now, migrants will not be eligible for these housing vouchers. Currently, there are more than 61,000 migrants living in the city shelter system. Reporting outside City Hall, I'm Morgan Mackay, Fox 5 News.